Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for One Piece Chapter 1050. Uh, when we last left our heroes, it really felt like everything was kind of all wrapping up, like, together. We got a little bit of, like, very belated Kaido backstory, uh, as we learned that he was the sort of super strong person in the Vodka Kingdom, which we had never heard of before, uh, and he was given to the government as, like, a sort of, like, conscript to allow Vodka Kingdom's inclusion at the Reverie, um, he broke out, of course, and, like, became a fugitive, eventually joined the Rocks Pirates, and things basically worked out as we sort of know they did. Uh, we find out that his motivation, for, uh, was, was at the beginning to create a world of war and, like, revenge for the sort of false peace that, like, the world nobles brought, I think, is probably what, what he was all about. Either way, after we learned that, everything kind of starts to, like, all the various plot lines of this arc all start to wrap up together, uh, as we get... Uh, the water, uh, drink, finally dousing all the fires in, in Onigashima. We got, um, right as Kaido's flame clouds gave out, uh, Momo finally learned to use his, uh, his flame clouds. And Luffy, upon being questioned what kind of, what kind of world he wanted to create, proudly declared a world where all of his friends can eat, uh, however much they want, and landed what certainly seems to be the final blow on... Uh, on Kaido, uh, which seems to have ended Wano. Like, I think this is the climax. I think that was the final moment of, of Wano just sort of being over. And, it, and it's, you know, in the bulk of it's, you know, there's still some epilogues up to do. The Marines are still right outside. But I think Kaido is done there. Uh, however, as a commenter pointed out, we don't actually see Kaido at the end. Uh, we see, I thought we saw Kaido in like the very end of last chapter. But it's actually Momo who passes out from exhaustion, as does Luffy. So... You know, maybe we, maybe, I, it sure seems like Kaido's done. That felt like the climax of Kaido as a character, but maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Either way, let's dive right on in chapter 1050, Honor, where we finally find out who it was that appeared in Whole Cake several chapters ago. Uh, Germa 66's Odd Emotionless Excursion, Volume 12, Ichiji and Reiju show up. So that's who's there. I, I guess they had f some sort of flame powers. It's been a while, but that seems to be what burned up the book that rescued uh, Miji and Yonji. But yeah, they're here to save their brothers. Um, and we pick up with Kaido, like, still falling. Um, like, Kaido is still, you know, mid-slam. Uh, he reverts back into his human form, and then he hits the ground. And we see, like, a comparison, Big Mom's hole and Kaido's hole. Uh, and they both look like they went, like, through the Earth's core, it actually looks like. Like, we see it there, and, um, it sure looks like they both sort of meet in this sort of circular, or, like, like, the core of the Earth. Even though I doubt they went quite that deep. But, like, also, we, we see, though, at the very bottom of, of page, of the second page, you know, the ground cracks, and Kaido falls no longer, you know, breaking ground, but just in, not quite air, but, like, um underground air, I guess. So that's an interesting thing. That feels like it might be very important very soon. I don't know what sort of thing could be under Wano. Uh, maybe, is that, like, like, wasn't it that the, the Kozuki were the creators of the Poneglyph? So maybe there's a Poneglyph under Wano? I don't know. Either way, above Wano, uh, I guess only barely above Wano now, because Onigashima was on the ground, as we saw last chapter. Yamato runs for Luffy, who's, like, falling. Luffy! The battle on the roof of the Skull Dome, Onigashima. Winner, formerly Kaido. And we see, though, like, Kaido, like, that means Kaido, Kaido does seem to be done, but it doesn't say winner Luffy is interesting enough. Like, it seems like there's, I don't know. It sure seems like Kaido's done here, but it doesn't say winner Luffy. It says winner, formerly Kaido. So Luffy, Luffy's unconscious though. That hit, he's out of gear five. He's just, he's just done. He's had quite the night. He's been in this battle for around 50 chapters now. Uh, so good to see him uh, being done there. And Yamato just sort of smiles at him. Haha. <laughs> uh, and Momo is out, obviously. Um, and then I think we come back to the fire festival for a bit as they're still sort of celebrating the, the lanterns going up. Not quite aware what happened just outside the city. Keep her steady. And Yamato just tells the two of them, this is incredible, you two. You're incredible. Because, yeah, they did it. They saved Onigashima. They saved Wano. 
That's it. They win. They fucking win. Meanwhile, in the capital, the festival was approaching the lively conclusion. Uh, and we see back to Toko and, and Tanguyama, who are still enjoying the festival together, uh, as Toko calls out, Keep her steady! Joining in the sort of calls for the boats. Um, and Tengu watches and has this flashback, uh, not Tama, Toko. Did I, say, I think I said Tama earlier, I meant Toko. Uh, and Toko tells him, Hey, Mr. Tengu, I heard Daddy used to be really important. He, he knew he would be killed if they caught him. And she's still doing that sad little smile that she has to because of the smile fruits. But he went ahead and let them arrest him anyway. That's what somebody told me. I wonder why. And we flash all the way back to like what was almost a hundred chapters ago now. It's been a long time here uh, with Yasui's death. The friendly oddball of Ebisu Town shall make the final grand journey. Yasui gave this country... I think this is probably Tengu's line. This isn't really a, 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 te- a Toko line. Yasui gave this country a fighting chance. If he had not done what he did when he did it, all of the lights of hope we'd built up would have gone out. He gave his life to protect the future of Wano. Going, it, it's been so long since then. Like the whole, the whole thing with the the, the message uh, around Yasui's death. God, like it's been like Wano was so long, it's easy to forget all the early Wano stuff. But Yasui was good. Uh, we flash back to I guess when Toko first ate the smile. Toko, don't tell me you ate that fruit. And Yasui, knowing what it means, knowing what it means to eat, this, eat the, the fruit, asked her, you save any for me? And then he, they're both afflicted by the smile, dancing away in the sunset. Uh, and Tengu tells Toko, he did that to preserve the future, so that you might grow up to be happy. He did it for me? That's right. In that case, I'll change my message. Is that better? And we can see the, the end of the word daddy on, on the lantern. We can't quite see what it is. Uh, but Tengu like, closes his eyes to cry, Yes, yes, that's right. To a warrior, there is no greater honor. And we see that she's crossed out, I want to see, and has left the word daddy, and then thank you at the end. Her final thank you for everything Yasui did for Wano. Even if Toko is like, not old enough to really understand um, the, the gravity of what happened quite yet. And Tengu smiles as well, you know, hope. They don't even know that, like, the, the Wano is saved now. Well, as much as it can be saved with the world government at their gates. Uh, but Toko continues joining the call. Keep her steady! And then we come back to Onigashima, where Nako Mamushi is just on the roof now. Not sure what he's doing there. Probably just came up to, like, check, check on whatever's going on. And he sees the skyboats. Haven't seen that in years. The skyboats from the festival. All right. And he calls down, I guess he went up there to do reconnaissance, and calls down to the, the assembled samurai. Listen up, Yugara. I can confirm it. Luffy smashed Kaido all the way, deep into the earth. Only Gajima would have fallen, but Lord Nomonosuke turned into a giant dragon and stopped it. Was Nakamamashi watching the entire time? Or did he, oh no, because he calls down to Yamato. Is that right? And Yamato calls up, yep. I guess, I guess like Yamato told him everything. Um... And the samurai all react. Then, that pink dragon. Was Lord Momonosuke? He has powers? After 20 long years of waiting for the chance to avenge Lord Odin's death. And we see Inu Arashi listening to Nekomamachi's announcement. We are victorious! Yeah! We've taken down two emperors of the sea! I never thought I'd leave this battle alive! And the samurai just let out, you know, a, a roar of, of joy. After all this time, all this heartbreak, they've done it. Wano is liberated for now. Again, the royal government is like right outside. There's no safety yet. But they've fucking done it. They have stopped Kaido. They took down Kaido and Big Mom. Well, I do agree that I don't think Big Mom is in any way like out of the story for good. She's been set up too much to be involved with the Giants, not be involved in a future Elbaf arc. Um, it just feels damn good. It just feels damn good. We see everyone react to the news uh, from Kawamatsu to, uh, to Raizo to Hiyori and Denjiro, uh, Kid and Killer, Law and Beppo. I love Beppo just like <laughs> has his arms wrapped around Law. It's so good. Uh, and Apu just listens in. Straw Hat beat Kaido? What's Apu going to do? Um, 
No, I, 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 no, sorry. For a second, I'm confused with Hawkins and their roles in the story. It was Hawkins who was sort of a, a, a warrior of opportunity for Kaido, realized that he was sort of he had no chance against Kaido, um, and so joined up with him. Apu was originally on Team Kaido from the start, so I don't know what's going to happen with him. It's interesting that like he's the last one of that crew that we see. Um, but then we see some more cheering, Nami and, and Marco and, and Tama for real this time. Uh, we see Hyogoro and some more of the samurai, some of the more of the, the Yakuza bosses we've seen in the past. Uh, and Usopp has arrived with Kin and Kiku. Uh, I got two patients in critical condition, Chopper! Uh, and Frankie's also arrived with Zoro, who's barely dead, who's barely alive. Chopper, Zoro's out cold and won't come too! Dr. Chopper, we need help over here! And he calls out to Miyagi and Tristan. Uh, Miyagi, I'm drowning in patients! And Miyagi runs at him, good thing I'm here to help! Uh, and then we cut back to outside, back with, uh, with Momo. Uh, as Momo is, is calling out to, to Zanisha again. Zanisha, Zanisha, can you hear me? I have thought long and hard. And Zanisha, we see outside, is listening to him. I will not open the borders. Yet. Okay. Um. All right. That's interesting. I'm curious what his thought process is there. If it's just like Zunisha maybe told him that the world government was at the gate right now and so it's like really not a good time for any of this. Or if there is something else going on here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Zunisha tells him, very well. I will respect your decision. I trust in your judgment. Because like so much of this arc has been about opening up Wano. And now Momo's just like, nah, not going to do that yet. The yet is important, of course. He's saying at some point he will. Which means there must be some condition, and I'm, I'm just curious what that condition will end up being. Mm. Like, maybe it's, um, once, once Luffy topples the world government or something, he doesn't want to be involved in the world government. I don't know. Either, either way, the world government is still here, and they want to sort of, you know, fight. Uh, especially now that Luffy is out of it after taking on two, after, you know, after the Alliance has taken down two Yonko, um... You know, the world government could really easily kind of just swoop in and take over things. I think they directly said was kind of their goal, right? Either way, Momo then says to Zunisha, Good. Thank you. And then he hears a noise. Hmm? Is this an earthquake? Uh, oh, and the beast pirates are still trying to, trying to fight. It's too early to celebrate, fools. We've still got you outnumbered. Lose focus and you'll lose the fight. Now surrender! There's no way Kaido lost. We're an emperor's crew. And they're just firing in... Um, you know, they're just still all, still going on. The samurai are shocked at that. They're still... And Frankie is just, like, raring to go. Frankie didn't take too much damage in this fight. Excuse me. You know, he had his little fight with Sasaki. But beyond that, he's not done that much in Wano. Um, so he's raring to go. You want to go a few more rounds? I'm game. Uh, but Brooke stops him. Let's not, Frankie. And Yamato enters the, the, the dome. Stand down, Beast Pirates. You have already died once in this fight. And the Beast Pirates still seem to have some kind of respect for Yamato. Y Young Master Yamato! But, and Yamato tells him, Onigashima would have smashed him to the ground if not for our leader. And, and the Beast Pirates aren't really happy to hear him say this. Spoken like a member of the enemy. After losing the fight and being saved from certain death, if you go back to fighting, I will destroy you. Yamato is raring to go. Um, and then... The rum, this sort I don't want to say the rumbling, uh, and bring in some Titan imagery, but the, 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 the shaking reaches them now. Ah, uh, huh? An earthquake? Why now? And then we cut to that underground magma pool I drew attention to earlier in the video. Hmm. As we see two silhouettes fall, falling towards the magma, Big Mom and, and Kaido almost certainly. And that, actually, maybe they've hit the lava? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, but we come into to the labor camp in Udon that we have not seen in like a hundred chapters now. That's a quake. And uh, I guess this is, someone gets a Den Den Mushi call. Baba Nuki, something's happening. Down on the seafloor. And we see, I guess this is like some of, some of the Beast Pirates like reserve members who stayed behind on the mainland. Mainland, a bunch of the island has a mainland. Um, looking out at the sea. And they see this like steam rising from the water. And I think this is Baba Nuki. It's been a long time since we've even thought of him. Uh, let me see if it is. Um, yes, it does appear to be Babanuki, the head of, of the mine. I definitely remember this guy. Definitely, 
Uh, but he looks sort of confused. And then we just see a, a volcano erupts. The final battle in the skies over Wano. Here it is. Winner. Straw Hat Luffy. And so I guess the two of Big Mom and Kaido falling into that magma pool will set off this volcano or something? That's a lot to deal with, though. A volcano is no joke. Um, and Babanuki is just stunned. Whoa! An underwater volcanic eruption. Luffy is still out of it at this point. Um, and back at the fire festival, they all see this. Ah! An eruption? That was toward Udon. Huh? Is that Onigashima? Are Kaido's goons doing something? Uh, so, yeah. Um, they still aren't aware. I think they just saw Onigashima on the mainland. Not like they're... Is it... I don't think is that Onigashima is is the eruption coming from Onigashima. It's, you know, it's here on the island for some fucking reason. <laughs> uh, so finally, people are aware of vaguely what's happening. And Momo finds some more of his strength to go fly to the festival. All is well. You are not in danger. But the people just see a dragon. And they're not pleased to see a dragon right now. K- Kaido, uh, my lord, what is he doing here? This is supposed to be our day of freedom. And Momo tells them all, there's a lot of, like, of like the way Momo is, like, shaped here is very reminiscent of, of what Kaido did. I think it's one of the openings that has the exact same, like, pose for Kaido. I am not Kaido. The eruption was the final drumbeat, signaling the end of Kaido, supreme commander of the Beast Pirates. But, like, they're still in fear of him. There are some deliberate parallels that Oda is drawing here between Momo and Kaido. And it's interesting like, it'd be one thing if, if he was using this pose as everyone celebrates, to sort of contrast him and Kaido. But maybe this is showing almost a similarity? I don't know. The anti-monarchist in me is saying all monarchs will eventually lead to the same result. Uh, but I don't really think that's what... Like, this arc has been so much about restoring the rightful heir. It'd be weird for it to take a sudden anti-monarchic turn at the very end. I don't know. Like, this is not Magi's Balbat arc. Uh, this is not a story that's just like, monarchy sucks, fuck monarchy. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, I'm curious if Oda, if this is just like, if this is just a coincidence, or if like, if there's a deliberate parallel Oda's got here. Um, but everyone sort of, it does seem that people actually hear Momo's words and stop there, huh? And then, out of the smoke, we see some people approaching. There are people coming through the dust! And as they approach, the crowd is just shocked, What?! Lady Komurasaki? That's the first person they see is fucking Hiyori. No way! Is that a ghost? We just held a funeral for her. Is this a dream? A vision? But that beauty belongs to no one else. They're all going wild for her. Uh, and then they see Denjiro, who they don't even know is Denjiro yet. Boss Kyoshiro! Wait, what happened to his styling hair? Uh, and Denjiro tells them all with a smile, It'll be a long, long story. We brought the new Shogun of Wano. And everyone acts surprised to be continued. See you in a week. We're not on hiatus next week. Next chapter is June 5th. Um, but yeah. So Wano has ended. And that just feels weird to say. Like, I think I brought this up last chapter. But, like, Wano, I think, had just started when I started reading One Piece. Like, at chapter one. Um, like, Wano was always the chapter that was ongoing as I was reading One Piece. And, like, that was... Almost four years ago now. That was the like June of eighteen, um, and now here we are. Like the drama of one, like the world, like I like I've been saying all chapter, the world government is like still outside, uh, but Wano is basically over. Um, I don't know. I want to talk about the eruption. Actually, that's the first thing on my mind. Is that Big Mom and Kaido fall into a lava pit? Like, that's definitive. Like, they fall into the magma underground. And, like, you know, I, I agree with people when I say that, like, Big Mom ending here just feels really weird. It feels like she's been built up as this much larger foe than, like, a side foe uh, to Kaido. Like, she's been built up as a fish man, even longer than Kaido, though not by much. Um, and she's been specifically tied with the giants for a long time. So it's just weird for her to, like, if. if it's weird for her to die here, but she did fall into magma. And that magma led to an explosion. I'm not sure how you come back from that. 
Like, it's One Piece. You know, I, I just finished Alabasta in my anime rewatch. Like, Pal's on the brain. Like, Pal came back from worse. He got an explosion to the face. And he was not even a fucking Yonko. Um, but, like, still, I don't know. I really hope it's not the end of Big Mom. I'm fine with this being the end of Kaido. But, like, Big Mom, I just feel like there's more to her, to her character, to her arc that we still have yet to see. Um, but, yeah. Like, it, it's hard to, like, describe this chapter and, like... Like, so it's hard to review this chapter because it's such an emotional experience. This is not, you know, uh, like there's not there's a little bit of like thematic and, and mirroring work, like I point out with that Momo panel on page uh, page sixteen. But like this is a chapter that's like it feels good to have this win. You know, we've been needing this win since the series since like Wano started one hundred fifty chapters ago, and it just feels good. <laughs> It just feels real, real good. Um, and I, I do love a little... I, I didn't catch this initially, but, like, that last Dendro line, it'll be a long, long story. Like, that feels a little bit like, yeah, Wano was long. Wano was really long. We This started, I think it was, like, 908 or 909 was the start of Wano. And we're at 1050 now. It's been almost 130. It's been like 141 chapters or something, 142. And it just feels good. Like, it, like there are still things to bring up, still things to think about in a more analytical sense. Momo's decision not to open the borders yet is very important. And that the way that yet is in its own little speech bubble makes that seem extra important, though we don't know why or how yet. But like, all in all, this chapter just feels good. It feels good to get this win. It feels good to have everyone celebrate. It's just a good fucking time. I don't know what happens next, though. Because, again, the royal government is right outside the gates. Uh, or maybe he's going to take, um, you know, when Zunisha says, I will respect your decision, he's saying, sure, I'll get the world government out of here. We're not dealing with them anymore. Uh, I don't know. Because, like, Zunisha, 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 I don't know what he can do. Um, but I don't know. I'm curious what the yet is referring to. Uh, but, you know, that's something we can worry about at a later date. Because for now... We finally win. I think it's finally time for, like, a Wano party, you know? Like, it's been so long since we had a let's just fucking party kind of ending. Like, I don't think Whole Cake had one. I think, don't think Whole Cake or Zoe had one, because those were both very sort of tense endings that didn't really allow for any rest. It might be since Dress Rosa, since we had, like, a, a typical One Piece let's party kind of ending. Uh, I don't know. But I, I, I'm just circling myself at this point. All I really have to say about this chapter is that it feels good to have this win after so many years. And I can't wait to see what our little straw hats get up to next. So with that said, I'm going to leave the video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know. And as always, your life is your own, okay? Bye!